my people is that time again that we need to digest and reason together so let's make the section an interactive section in any way i may be wrong i am open to corrections and to grow ways to serve you better you know where to find me so please drop a comment thank you this is one pastor that does not want to give up his aspiration just like the other okoro and what's that guy's name on oh, chris okote like play like play election train will be clouding everywhere soon anyways pastor to the bakari has indicated his interest in the forthcoming presidential elections and he also went further to talk about open grazing and all there is to it make we dive into the gist properly but please sorry i'm bringing this news a little bit late but i want to believe there is one or two persons out there i am reading it for greetings to all my country people hope we are doing great in our respective locations to all my amazing subscribers yet to be and returning subscribers there is no bite cutting it building confidence evolves facing your fears again and again till your subconscious knows that you are the bigger one please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel thank you the founder of citadel global community church formerly Latter Rain Assembly, Tunde Bakari, has said that he is not ruling out contesting in the 2023 presidential election. He said this on Friday while fielding questions from state as reporters after a private visit to President Muhammad Buhari at the presidential villa Abuja. Every Nigerian who is of age and who is not disqualified by any means is free. I am a nation builder. If God wants me to do that, and the people of Nigeria will appreciate that, why not? I am as free as anybody to do anything with my time. I have pastored a church for 33 years. Now we raise new leaders. I want to focus on nation building, Bakari said. The office of the president is only one office. There are so many other things we can do as people to support whoever is there to make sure that we do not go into retrogression, but begin to make steady progress as a people. I have already communicated clearly my future plans to Mr. President, and it stays between us. General elections will be held in Nigeria on the 18th February 2023 to elect the President, Vice President, as of Representatives and Senate. After speaking with Buhari, Tode Bakari speaks against zoning 2023 presidency. Tunde Bakari has played down the importance of power rotation in Nigeria. Bakari said that leaders should be judged from not where they come from, but what they have to offer. Bakari said this while speaking to state house correspondents after his meeting with President Muhammad Buhari in Abuja on Friday. I just said it on the 3rd of October. Is our immaturity, politically and otherwise, that makes us say power must either be in the north or in the south. Instead of looking for the best, the, fight, the fittest, the most competent, and people of character who love this nation, Bakari said. Listen to me. If where the president comes from will make the place he has come from to be better, the northern part of Nigeria should be richest and should be the most progressive and the most developed because out of 61 years, the north has produced either the president or heads of state for 40 to 41 years, and yet 
see the retrogression in the north. If it's from the south, why should a person like former President Olusegun Obasanjo freeze and seize the account of Lagos State in his own tunnel? If it's from south south or south east, why couldn't former President Goodluck Jonathan use all his powers to develop south south and south east? Not where they come from. It is what they carry and what they have to offer. May the best of the best of Nigerians rise, whether they are from the east or from the west or from the north and from the south. If there are agreements between politicians among themselves on rotation, a bargain is a bargain that is between them. But as far as this country is concerned, what we need at this stage is a man who can drive us to the El Dorado. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. My country people, Pastor to the Bakari has just spoken. Are we on the same line with him? If we are, then let's join him in the ride. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button for more updates. I remain your number one news blog. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.